Clean the garage, make a hockey video. Clean the garage, make a hockey video. Let's make a hockey video. What's up guys, I know it stinks right now. We can't get on the ice. You wanna work on your stick handling, you're passing, you're shooting, but you can't get on the ice. The only place to do it is on the road. And I thought this would be a good time to test out the best off ice pucks. There's a bunch of versions out there. I have a whole ton of them in my garage. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna dig around. I'm gonna find every off ice puck that I have in there and we're gonna test them on the road. We're gonna test them for shooting, stick handling, and passing, and crown a champion. Let's go. I was actually inspired by Pavel Barber. Look at this organization, Hockey Products. Uh, a while back, I bought a bunch of these pucks and I was meaning to do a video and I just saw Barber. He did a video of uh, this one, the ATV Hummer. It has, I don't know, like these wheels on it or something. That one, not even out of the packaging yet. Got to do a video on that, so that's going in the bucket. Okay, another one that I found. You think that's a green biscuit? It's not, it's a knockoff from Smart Hockey. So I'm curious, uh, how does it stack up against the original Green Biscuit? It has the puck outer, which I think is kind of cool. Yo, maybe we should do actually a compilation of like the best for the street, the best for tiles, and the best for carpet. Like all of future future yeah. video, like play, play hockey anywhere, yes. Yeah. Get the, the mitts and select your weapon. I'm gonna go with the homemade Holy, yeah, well it's got speed holes, so I'm gonna shoot harder, obviously. Yeah, you don't wanna use your $300 expensive stick. Let's go. Ah. It's six by four, and I swear it's got four feet of clearance. I thought it would've fit. We need like a, a sturdy, small net that you can just chuck in the trunk. All right, watch and learn, Hayden. Be able to use this. There. Got some uh, some more entries. We got the Green Biscuit Pro. So this one has the rubber elastic bands. I already have my opinion on that. I'll share it a little later. And look at this thing. This it. Oh, I guess I have to assemble it myself. I like how they put one in. Like yeah, you got you got it from here, champ. Here we'll we'll put one in for you. This is a trophy that will be awarded to the winner from uh, the Beaverton Blades Tykes 1991 Jeremy Rupke, one of the trophies I won back in '92. This is the only dog with a purple tongue. Ready to show him your teeth. Look at that. Ah. Time to test some pucks. Here we are. Rules are simple. We run each puck through a series of tests and we see who comes out on top. See what we got. Anyone bring scissors? Oh no. There are two things open. I saw this on YouTube. Life hacks. You can open a can of tuna this way, you know? There we go. I should start my own YouTube hacks channel. Let's introduce the starting lineup. First up is a wooden stick handling ball from Hockey Shot, cheap option. Uh, we got the ATV Hummer, which says it'll slide because these little wheels, but I'm uh, questioning the ones pointing the opposite direction. I think that may just flip up. Let's find out. We got the dangle puck from Hockey Shot, ball bearings on each side. Absolutely would not recommend using this on cement because it'll gum up the bearing. It's good for a smooth surface, but we're gonna test it anyways. We got the, uh, the Green Biscuit, the pro version with these little rubber bands. The one complaint about the original Green Biscuit which we have uh, right here is that it's plastic it's a little bit loud doesn't have that nice feel so they added these rubber bands let's see if we like it uh, I've already used it I know it's not really that great uh, then we have this one from hockey shot with little nibs it's supposed to reduce friction let's test that out we have the green biscuit knockoff a complete copy of the green biscuit except they did add this solid uh, puck like band around the outside and I think actually I might like that we'll find out we got this it's a, a cheap it's a street hockey puck, like two bucks, probably your cheapest option. The fly puck, this basically handles and feels like if you ever played shuffleboard, it sounds like that and feels like this, but we're gonna test it for stick handling. Against these ones, uh, last up, we have the Comet puck. If we're in dark, you would see that that is glowing and it has these little uh, nibs, nibby uh, metal things. Well, let's see if that works. And then the shinny puck from Canadian Entire thing is about five bucks. Let's start dangling. Aiden, got any predictions for these pucks? I'm thinking that anyone that's rubbery too much won't do very good. But. Yeah, I'd say that's a good, solid prediction. Anything that's too rubbery might not do too well, like the shinny puck. I'm saying best one is going to be green base, because it's tried and true. I've used it a lot. Uh, the other ones, hey, it may, might get dethroned though. Only one way to find out. Let's get dangling. Pro. <laughs> oh yeah. Got some dangles in there, you know? Celebrate the biscuit. Give it a little 
little spin, little spin. Oh, whoop, how's she going? Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Oh my, this is a oh shit. This is, oh, this is, just, just throw it out. It's not, this is not for, for payment at all, no. Oh yeah, that's nice, tried and true. Use this one a lot, I know, it, it, it works, it's durable for stick handling. Always love the original Green Biscuit. Try the knockoff, ooh, a nice feel to it. Yeah, oh, rolls, rolls a little. I think when the rubber, if it catches the rubber, like if it rolls a little, it does have a nice feel to it. You know, that one might be good on a smooth surface. Ooh. It's just like a gentle slide, I like that, like that. That works, but look, yeah, if it catches, if that thing ca like hits there, you're done, right? Maybe on, pl on plastic. We might have to do a test with these on like tiles too, on smoother surfaces. Oh, true, yeah. Bouncy. You know, it's, it's okay, it's, it's not bad. But it, it, it's it, not as bad as a regular puck. Yeah, it's better than a regular puck for sure. I got the, uh, as long as you roll your wrist on this one, I think you're gonna keep it down most of the time. Because it's so light. Yeah. But it, yeah, I'd say it works better than a regular puck. It's your cheapest option, it's not bad. <laughs> the Hummer! It, it is like a reaction. Like it, it zigzags while you stick handle. You don't know which direction it's gonna go. It's unpredictable. Where is it gonna go? Who knows? There's better options. I shouldn't even be doing this because this is the most expensive of the pucks. I should not even be stick handling it here. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's not worth it for for off for like for a rough surface. Not worth it. It's great on smooth surfaces. So we got the fly puck. I don't even know if they sell these anymore. <laughs> It feels like, it feels heavier. Well, it's it sounds like you're stick handling like a limestone rock. It's like shuffleboard. <laughs> okay, let's break it down. Let's, let's, let's crown a champion. Best puck for stick handling. I'm gonna reach in the basket, just grab one at random. Ball, what do you think? Well, it's not even a puck. So. <laughs> it, it bounces a little bit. It's, it's still cheap. solid. It, it feels yeah. nice, it's a decent option. I like stick handling balls. Uh, okay, off ice puck. I mean, it's cheap. Good cheap option. Yeah. yeah. Like you can it's get, better than nothing. Yeah, like, you can yeah. get five of these for 10 bucks. I'd say go for it. Yeah. Uh, the Hummer Puck, no. Uh, no, not no. worth the money. There's better options out there. Yeah. This one, uh, the knockoff it Smart Hockey. I, surprisingly, not too bad. Yeah. I like it. I'm going to keep it as the you know top three. Uh, this one, the uh, the, the no, no, no. It's brutal <laughs> for stick handling. No, I don't even try. On rough surfaces, no. Maybe it's better on. You're better off with a real puck. Yeah, uh, it was worse than a real puck. Yeah. Green Biscuit Pro. Uh, this one, I like the feel of it. I liked how it was quieter. If this were my first time using this puck, I would probably recommend it. But from experience, I know that these rubber bands they come oh, off really easily. They break, true. and then you're left with this like brittle plastic underneath Oh, because it. it's got edges more. Yeah, and that yeah. chips, not very durable, and it does flip up a bit more, so I'm not yeah. gonna put that in the top. Uh, we got the, the dryland puck from Hockey Shop. It's decent, I'd say it's probably better on a smooth surface. Yeah. Um, not the best option. We got the fly puck, what do you think? That was not too bad, it sounded like different. It, it felt like, okay. like a rock, almost. Yeah, I wouldn't put it as a top. Uh, we got the, the Comet puck, it's, it's interesting. Not the best option though. Yeah. We're gonna keep going through. We got uh, the, the dangle puck. I would not pay that much to use this on cement. Yeah, you're just basically ruining it. It does work well on smooth surfaces. Mm -hmm. So that leaves us with the uh, the knockoff green biscuit with the rubber on the outside. Or the traditional I'd green say biscuit. this one is better than the green biscuit pro. Now, for feel, like an and overall feel. slide and everything. Yeah, yeah. But, but the original green biscuit, what was the trophy? Thank you, the champion, in my opinion, is the original, the green biscuit. It's tried, it's true, for consistency, it is the best. This one does feel a little bit. Close second, yeah. I'd say the feel on this one's a little nicer because it has that rubber, but what happens is when it touches the cement, it yeah. flips over. There you have it, best off-ice stick handling puck overall, green biscuit, you can grab that at hockeyshot.com with a close second, the smart hockey puck with the rubber around it. Nice feel to it, and don't even bother with this thing. It's rubbery, it just grips the oh, the, uh, the road. And what I'm really interested in is ripping this thing. I just wanna send it right now. We're gonna test this in the next video for saucer passes, passing, and shooting. What is the best puck for shooting? And guys, let me know in the comment section which one are you using, do you love it, and uh, wait, that made no sense. Which puck are you using off the ice and why? Uh, if you recommend anything, let us know in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Start with like a simple sauce. I'll toss a couple tiles here. The hammer. 
I, I can imagine it's gonna whistle while it spins. Well, you know what? I'm gonna hit it dead square. Ready? Yeah, called it. Oh! 